My artwork is about landscape and the spirituality of the landscape. In my work, I strive to reveal the landscape's shy presence, its quiet presence, and my reverence for it. For the Equinox exhibition, I had to move my eyes from the earthly landscape and look up upon an object that I often see in the night sky. I know that the equinox happens twice a year and is a time when planet Earth experiences 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. I knew that I had to learn more about the equinox in order to create a piece of artwork for this exhibition. I learned by researching ancient mythology and spirituality that the ancient people looked upon the equinox as a heavenly representation of the struggle between light and darkness, and also a representation of the struggle between life and death. During these past months of the COVID pandemic, sadly, I have been isolated from my creative colleagues. We no longer had the impromptu chats, the supportive conversations, the offhand critiques. And through this isolation, I found myself sinking into a deep funk, a dark place. The invitation to be part of the exhibition helped me to recover a bit from what I called my COVID funk. So this encouraged me to create a series of images that in the end result helped to move me from a place of darkness to a place with the promise of light. So for this exhibition, I have created a mixed media series that I have named The Ever-Changing Constant. This series is made up of eight individual images. Each image is mounted on a one-inch cradled substrate and explores the subject of the equinox by concentrating on the seeking out of a reassurance of my own emotional equilibrium in the observation of the familiar continuing lunar cycle. The materials I utilized in this series are graphite, touche, archival ink, archival paper, and encaustic. The series consists of lunar imagery of eight stages from the full moon to the waxing gibbons, to the first quarter, to the waxing crescent, to the new moon, to the waning crescent, to the third quarter, and finally the waxing gibbons. The images are graphite drawings that are digitally layered with washes of touche. These composited images were then printed with archival inks on archival paper. The papers were hand-torn to create the deckled edges and mounted on each cradled substrate. Encaustic medium was then applied and textured with radial patterns with a metal brush. Our planet's nearest neighbor is a constant reminder that balance between darkness and light is ever-changing. I find hope in that knowledge.